Are you starting out as a professional photographer and you don't know which camera to get? Well, here are a few tips of the great cameras that are out there. My name is Lynn Cobb. I'm a professional photographer and I teach photography with simplicity. I personally like things that are simple and easy to understand and so here are a few um, suggestions for maybe some cameras that you might like. Buy a camera that you can afford um, and then upgrade later. You don't want to go into debt over photography. I've done it myself and you don't want to do it. So um, be smart about your budget. Maybe buy something that's slightly used. One of my favorite camera stores is B&H Photo. When you call them up, they're always honest and they get, give great advice. The cameras that you'll probably want to look into these days if you are looking into going into professional photography is something called a mirrorless camera. And the reason they're so great is that what you see on the back of your screen is the exact shot that you have. So there's no guessing and it's awesome. When you change your aperture and your shutter speed and your ISO, you can see again what is exactly um, what you're going to get. It's called WYSIWYG. Basically what you see is what you get. So um, it's a great um, turn of events for the photography world and I love my mirrorless camera. The other thing you need to know is that uh, cameras come with interchangeable lenses or sometimes uh, you can buy a camera with a fixed lens. I recommend getting something with an interchangeable lens and that way you can um, kind of upgrade as you go. Also lenses come with variable apertures and fixed apertures and you want one that has a fixed aperture. All right, so here are your camera options. All of these are mirrorless. Uh, I am not an expert in this field, but these are some of the top selling cameras. I've gotten all my information, of course, from B&H. That is the camera store I use. They have not sponsored me in any way, but um, I buy all my equipment from them. So the first one that um, I recommend is the Sony ZV-E10. It's a good price point of around $700 and it's small and portable. It's great for content creators, uh, particularly if you like to be on the go and you want to shoot some video. There's the Canon M50. I love Canons. I think the menus are easy and this particular camera is small and compact and it has a great price point. Then there's the Sony A7 Mark II. Uh, it has a full frame sensor, so uh, you'll see the, the, the full image that you're shooting and it won't crop in and it's got a kind of a medium price point of around $1,400, $1,500. There's the Canon R7, it does have a crop sensor, so uh, that's a factor to consider. Again, it's a medium price point. And then there's the Canon R6. This is what I have. I absolutely love mine. I used to have Canon DSLRs, but one of the advantages of a mirrorless camera, and particularly um, this Canon R6, it has great eye tracking, and so pretty much every shot I take is in focus. The other thing that this particular camera has is it has two card slots, and what that is good for is that you can always have an extra um, or a second SD card in there that will actually uh, be a duplicate and so what I do with mine is that I'll shoot RAW on my first card and maybe JPEG at the same time on my second card and that's really just a backup. But I love my um, Canon R6 and uh, this is kind of at a higher end price point of $2,000. Of course, that's all without the lens. Some of my suggestions for figuring out which camera you like is maybe to rent the gear first. And a couple of my suggestions are Lens Pro to Go and BorrowLenses.com. And also you could buy used. B&H has a great used photo department and I've bought several things from them. In addition to your camera, 
You're also going to need a lens. You're also going to need some SD cards and an extra battery. So um, those are things to consider. So don't spend all your money just on the camera. The lens is super, super important. They're equally as important. So save some money for that. And then a couple of the other additional items would need are a camera bag. It's nice to have a camera bag to put everything in. Um, most cameras come with a camera strap. I actually use Peak Design camera straps. So they're really comfortable like around your neck and that's really important. And also you'll need a computer and editing software. I use, um, a, of course, a Mac computer and Adobe Lightroom for my editing software. I hope you've enjoyed the talk today. This is just some of the many camera options that you have. I always like to end with a quote. And this quote says, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. And that's by Steve Jobs. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you, you've uh, gotten a little something out of this talk. Thanks for joining me today. You can follow me at Instagram at Linkop Studios or Instagram at Good Dogs of Service and also on Facebook at Linkop Studios or of course on my website. If you have any questions about this video, please put your comments in the um, comment section below or questions or you could um, DM me on Instagram and I can respond there too. Hope you have a great day.